Can women be sexually active during pregnancy safely? What is the impact of pornography on the sexuality of young women? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. In general, women can be sexually active safely during pregnancy unless specific medical complications arise. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure there are no health risks. The impact of pornography on the sexuality of young women can vary. Some may find it informative or exciting, while others may feel pressured by unrealistic expectations. Sexual education and open communication are key to addressing this topic in a healthy manner. Alcohol and drug effects. Excessive alcohol consumption and certain drug use can affect sexual function in men, sometimes making it challenging to achieve orgasm. Anorgasmia is the inability to achieve orgasm. It can be caused by physical or psychological factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Association between breast size and attractiveness, perceptions of breast attractiveness vary among cultures and individuals. There is no ideal size and beauty is subjective. Bacteria in a kiss. A passionate kiss can exchange around 40,000 bacteria. Fortunately, saliva contains disinfectant substances, but this may explain why a cold can sometimes spread surprisingly. Cervical orgasm. Some women experience a type of orgasm known as a cervical orgasm, derived from stimulation of the uterine cervix. This type of orgasm can be deeper and more expansive. Common practice. Despite associated stigmas, anal sex is a common sexual practice and can be enjoyed by many couples as an additional form of intimacy. Abstinence culture. In some cultures and religions, sexual abstinence before marriage is a norm. However, attitudes toward abstinence have changed over time. Cultural stigma. Despite growing acceptance, Anal sex has often been surrounded by cultural stigma, which may affect some women's willingness to try or talk about it. Sexual desire during pregnancy can vary from woman to woman. Some women experience an increase in desire due to hormonal changes, while others may feel less interested in sex. Different types of orgasm. Some women report different types of orgasms, such as clitoral, vaginal, or G-spot orgasms. The orgasm experience can vary depending on the type and stimulation. Diversity of preferences. The diversity of sexual preferences is vast, and some people may enjoy anal sex occasionally, while others may prefer it as a regular part of their sexual life. Dry orgasm and prostate health. Men experiencing dry orgasms without ejaculation may do so due to prostate health issues, such as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. Consulting a doctor is important in these cases. Classical music's effect. It has been observed that classical music, particularly Vivaldi's Autumn, can increase sexual arousal. Scientists believe this is due to the rhythm and structure of the music, which may match the rhythm of sexual activity. Effects of wet dreams, Wet dreams, or nocturnal emissions, are involuntary orgasms that occur during sleep. They are often related to erotic dreams and are more common in men. Ejaculation. Time. The average duration of male ejaculation is about five seconds, but it can vary significantly from one man to another. Ethics in pornography. The pornography industry has faced challenges regarding ethics and consent. Concerns have been raised about the well-being of actors and production practices. Sexual fantasies are a normal part of human sexuality. They can range from romantic situations to bolder and more experimental encounters. Unusual fetishes. Fetishes can vary widely, and some individuals have unusual sexual interests. This may include an attraction to objects, specific roles, or unique situations. 
Foot fetishism is a common sexual fetish where a person is attracted to feet. It may involve foot worship, massages, and other erotic acts. Health and well-being. Orgasms have health benefits, such as stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, releasing endorphins, happiness hormones, and relieving pain. They can also improve sleep quality. History of condoms. Condoms have a long history dating back to ancient Rome, where they were made from animal intestines. Today, modern condoms are made of latex or polyurethane and are an effective means of protecting against STIs and unwanted pregnancies. Hygiene. Hygiene is important before engaging in any sexual activity, including anal sex. Some people choose to shower beforehand to feel more comfortable. The influence of music on arousal. Music can be a powerful aphrodisiac. Various musical styles and songs can influence mood and sexual arousal. Influence of social media on sexuality. Social media can influence body perception, sexual expectations, and communication in relationships. It is also used to connect with diverse sexual communities. Intelligence. Many women value intelligence and the ability to engage in interesting and meaningful conversations. Kegel, not just for women, Kegel exercises involving the contraction and relaxation of pelvic floor muscles are not exclusive to women. Men can also benefit from them to improve sexual health and control. Right side and left side. Some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Medications and orgasm. Some medications, such as antidepressants, can affect a person's ability to reach orgasm. This is a known side effect of certain medications. Mental preparation. Mental preparation is crucial for a positive experience. Open communication and trust between partners can significantly contribute to emotional comfort. Male multi-orgasms. Although it is more common for women to experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, some men can also achieve it. It is believed to be more likely in young and healthy men. The practice of controlling ejaculation can help some men achieve multiple orgasms. Multiple orgasms. While more common in women, some men can train themselves to experience multiple orgasms without the traditional refractory period. Orgasm control. Some men practice orgasm control, also known as the edging method, which involves intentionally delaying orgasm to prolong sexual pleasure before allowing themselves to climax. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.